Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of my Sova arrows on Ascent, Offense, and Defense. Um, after this video, you should feel comfortable playing Sova in Ranked. This should build a very solid foundation for you as a Sova player. And uh, I think this is all the arrows you realistically need in order to be competent on Sova on this map. So, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to be starting with the B bomb site on Defense. And uh, first things first, something I like to do on pistol round or sometimes rifle rounds if I think they're going to rush B is a lot of the times they start a B rush by omen flashing through this wall. So I'll sit at the barrier, wait for the omen flash to come in, and then I'll click a shock dart and I will run back to sight. And when I get into sight, I will throw a dart above the above sidewalk as they're running out. This will make it so that anybody in market can shoot people through the smoke and help me when I'm on sight. I also like throwing it up here. Um, this is, these are good post-plant arrows as well um, for if you are playing post-plant on B-bomb site. Um, shock darts for breaking the trips, B-main. You can come to this back wall right here, and you line it up so the arrow is going to go through the window, and then you go to the top of the sign and one-click. That'll go right through B-main. Uh, same thing, you can do at sidewalk with one bounce and one bar of charge. Is You can just aim a little bit of the, above the window, one bar of charge. Bounces off the roof, lands there. This, these are also good for getting early damage, just like the uh, the one-click one that I showed you. Um, if you'd like to help your teammates in mid with a arrow, you can come into this corner at the top of the stairs, and you aim where these two roofs meet, right here, and two bars of charge. This will land above tiles, and this will scan pretty much all of mid. It won't get top Sabrosa, and it won't get top mid, um, but this is very good for having your teammates like peek off cat, um, like through a smoke or something, and getting some free cheeky kills. Um, if you want to help your teammates on A bomb site, the best arrow for that is say they call an A rush, you run to this corner over here, and you put your left diamond, you put it like half of it on the roof, um, you pretty much split it in half, and then it's two bars of charge. And this lands on the A bomb site very, very quickly. So if they're rushing, say they smoke off tree. Your teammate who's playing cat can spam them through the smoke as they're trying to run out a main and it's very very difficult for the team to like run out a main clear the site and then have an arrow come in from b have them turn break the arrow it's it's very confusing and a lot of the times that arrow wins me a lot of rounds um in high level ranked so it's a very very good arrow um if you are retaking the b bomb site on defense and you want to shock dart default before they plant you go up to where you can only see a little bit of the lamp and then you aim at the top right here. One bounce, one bar of charge. This will bounce off the back wall of B site and land default. Uh, should do 90 damage to the planner. Um, if you'd like to shock dart double box, you can come into this corner. Two bounces. And then there's this brown line right here. You want to go down and to the right a little bit. Two bounces, full bar of charge. Bounce off that wall. It'll land here. You can spam this like that as well. Um, if you want to scan for anybody who runs out of market, say they're splitting from mid, um, pretty similar where the brown line is here. You go directly below it, one bounce, one full bar of charge. Bounces off that, will land there. This will scan all of this area so you can spam people through smoke if you get smoked off CT. If you want to scan sidewalk from this same spot, bounce. It's like the shock dart one, brown line down to the right. One bounce, full bar of charge. They'll land up there, above sidewalk. Say you have a teammate in sight and they're running out sidewalk on them. That's a good arrow for them. Um, another good arrow for retaking, uh, you can just shoot your arrow at the top of this tree. And this will scan all of sight. And if they are getting used to that one, you can do something like this where you just bounce it off this wall and it will land like above double box. Anything's, anything you, anything will do really. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers B bomb site. Let's move on to A. All right, so going over the A bomb site, we're going to talk about some retake arrows first, um, because most of us play B, and they anchor B in my opinion. So we'll go over the retake arrows here first. Um, but if you go to this flower pot, put yourself in this corner, and then you go to the top right of this area right here, and you just one click. This will shock dart double box. So something I like to do when I'm rotating from B to A, if they haven't planted yet, is I run here, I throw this shock dart, and then I run up to heaven. And I'll come over here, and if they haven't planted Jenny yet, I'll come into this corner, and you can shock dart generator from here. You aim above where this little rounded part of the of the wall is, and you put your shock dart to the right of it and above a little bit, and you jump. Oh, whoops! You jump and you click at the apex of your jump. I messed up the first one. 
but yep, that'll shock through our generator. It's very good. Um, and then I like to also combo this with you run up to here and you can shock dart the side of generator if you run up to this line and you put your charge bar in this corner right here and you just one click and this will land on the side of generator. So sometimes if you shock dart the planner here, he'll get off the bomb and he'll try and move before the second shock dart comes in and he'll run right into the second arrow. It's very, very good. Um, if you would like to dart under heaven, you can do it two ways. You can either come back here on the roof and you can crouch on this back wall and you want this little flap to be showing just a little bit. And you crouch in the back wall and you aim in the top left corner and you double bar of charge it. It'll bounce off that back wall, bounce off the floor and land on the roof. Um, I like throwing this one because not a lot of people see this one coming. They see an arrow going onto the back wall over here and they're like, oh, he's going to scan sight. And then all of a sudden the arrow lands under heaven on them. So that one's pretty good. And the other way you can do it is you come out here and then you just full charge two bounces off of the top of this and it will land under heaven. You can do a shock dart here as well so you don't have your recon. You can shock dart here as well and then you can spam with it. Try and get a pick like that. Um... If you want to scan generator, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do here off of this one, or you can do it off of this one. These are the two different ones. Very, very simple. And then if you want to scan back sight, like this rectangle here, say to help your door players get out, you can uh, jump and then there's this, cr I don't know what this is called. It's like a little crane looking thing, but you jump, you aim a little bit above it and you shoot it and it will land at the top of the crane and we'll scan all of this area. That one's very good. And then also, if you want to just scan for people right at the jump up here or double box, you can just throw a basic recon dart like that. Very good. Um, so I think that's all the retake arrows on A. Uh, let's go over just if you're playing A site in general. Um, if you want to scan A main for early info, you can do it one of two ways. I don't like doing this one too much because like most of the time if I'm doing this arrow, I'm fighting with it. And you can't really fight it with it here. But if say you're gonna like just you just want early info and then you're gonna play heaven and play retake anyway, um, you can do this. You come up here and you put your two diamonds in bet or like you put the tree in between your two diamonds at the tip. One bar. This will land up there. Scan all of a main. Um, most of the time though, I just do it from right here and I just dart at the start of the round because usually we're fighting with it. Like we use like either a phoenix ult or something. Um, in order to push through a main and we try and we try and win some trades um, if you want to dart gelato I like comboing this with my ult you come up here and you just jump it and shoot it over the wall this will scan all of uh, gelato and up to here so if they already crossed you they uh, they won't get scanned by it but anybody in this area will be scanned by it and something I like to do in combination with it is I tell my omen if my arrow gets a scan flash through a main and then I pop my Sova ult and I have people push while they're blind and being ulted. It's a very good combo set play. Um, if you're actually playing the A-bomb site though, something I like to do is I will close the door here and then break it. It is already broken and closed. And I will play in garden and I'll just spot the A-main run out and just get info on it while like I have like an opera holding right cat right here or like... So just somebody playing in this area with me as well let me just double up this area and then if they try and, and if they're trying to five man execute on a or whatever um and they smoke off tree i just pull out a dart and then i dart through the smoke and as they're trying to run up to close the door you can get some free smoke kills with your recon dart it's very very good um if you get smoked off cat and you want to like get some mid info you can just full charge one bounce of dart off the wall and it will land above cat and you can scan people in mid um pretty good support arrow and uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers all of my defense arrows. Uh, let's talk about offense. All right, so offense, we're gonna start with the A bomb site. Um, if you want to scan back generator or pretty much all of site, you go into this corner and you put your crosshair a little bit to the left of this part of the explosion and one bar of charge. Um, this arrow takes a while to land. So if you're not comboing other util with it, it's pretty easy for the enemy team to break that one instantly. Um, so most of the time, like I just like running up here and after we get the first arrow, I just full bar shoot an arrow. This one lands very, very quickly and it's very hard to deal with if you're on the defensive side. Um, you can combo these with shock darts for generator if you just come here and you just one click a shock dart in this U area. The shock dart lands on the side of Jenny. Pretty good. Um, and if you want to throw like a slow arrow that lands on this wall, you can uh, put your armor 
in the uh, in this little tile right here and one bar of charge. You just put it in the center somewhere. Easy. Um, something I like to do in order to get the orb at the start of rounds is I just one bounce a uh, dart off this wall. This way it will scan the entrance of a main so they can't peek into me. Like I know if anybody's at this entrance trying to op me or something. Um, and if it doesn't scan anything, I go ahead and I grab the orb to start the round. And uh, I think that's, oh, I still got another arrow. Um, if you wanna scan tree you. for your teammates coming up cat, you can shoot an arrow over this wall at like this. This this arrow is really weird. It's not that easy to hit. Um, so I recommend practicing this one, but. Area. There we go. And this will scan most of tree. It's a little weird with all the with all the branches in the way, but if anybody's playing in tree, this is good for getting that control. And then you can combo with an omen smoke right here. Um, taking middle, if you omen smoke on the barrier right here, you can uh, do a Sova Dart middle. The key to this is to like throw something different every time. So like adding a bounce to have it land on the back wall or you do it off the back wall first into that. Um, anything to keep them sort of guessing so that it's harder for them to break the dart immediately at the start of the round is uh, is good. You can do the same thing um, from tiles here at the start of the round. You wanna make sure you put this one to the left as much as you can because if you have it, if you put it like here, it won't actually scan in middle sometimes like if they tuck on the wall right here they can tuck and the dart won't see them so make sure you get it as far left as possible um if you are attacking b and then i'll throw like a recon off this tree for sight or i'll throw it off this tree or you throw it off this roof or if you want to clear boathouse and close, you jump onto here and you one-click through this part of the window right here. So those are pretty much all the good sight arrows for uh, B. And same thing, if you're clearing B main, you can throw a dart off the wall here. And this will clear B main to make sure nobody's pushed in. You can do this at the start of the round in order for you to get orb. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all of my arrows. Those are all of the arrows that I use day in and day out on uh, on Ascent. I think this is pretty much everything you really need to know in order to be a solid Sova on this map, and this should get you up to speed in order to play Sova confidently and ranked on this map. Um, you don't really need super, super fancy ones, but this is this is this will definitely build a very good foundation for you guys as a uh, new Sova player. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the darts. A lot of these darts were taken from like uh, Sin or Sinatra and uh, I think I got a couple average Jonas starts in here as well. Um, but I've never seen them make like the full compilation video. Sinatra did something, but he, he, he missed out. He left out a lot of darts. So I figured I'd make my own. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to like and sub if you want to see more content from me. And a fun little reminder, I stream every day on Twitch from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check me out there, boys. All right. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.